Strange science! 75% of crops directly consumed by humans are pollinated by animals, mainly bees. But recently, populations have declined up to 80% in North America. This decline is the result of numerous interacting factors, including genetic uniformity. In nature, bees travel to mate, mixing DNA and creating populations with diverse traits. But as habitats are fragmented by humans, we create small islands of bee populations, leading to genetic uniformity. Imagine one population of bees with genetic diversity and one made of clones. If a disease comes along that is deadly to certain bees, the diverse population will survive and regrow, but the uniform population will be devastated. Genetic uniformity weakens the population's ability to adapt to dangers. Parasites and pathogens are another concern. Bees have developed resistance to these threats in their natural habitat, but humans move bee populations all over the world. The native bees have no tolerance to these invasive pests and are affected much more severely. The key to understanding bee population declines is that every threat affects the bee's ability to deal with every other threat. For example, genetic uniformity weakens bees to pesticides, which weakens them to pathogens, making them less able to travel, leading to increased genetic uniformity. To save the bees, we need further understanding of the complex interactions of ecological factors. We need ecological science.